What's up everyone? Um I've been wanting to do this and for a few days and I know I already touched upon the subject already. Um but more things came up in my mind and I thought about writing about it on the blog but um I can't organize my thoughts well enough to write it, so hopefully this won't run on too long. Um, I'll try my best, but uh, you know how that usually ends up going. So um, this will be the last time I talk about the subject, hopefully. I'll never ever have to bring it up again. <sighs> so here it is. My complete thoughts on the Gundam style phenomenon worldwide. Um, like I said, I already kind of talked about it before. Um, I mentioned how I found out about it. Um, like it came out in July. Um, I guess I'll repeat just in case you missed it. Yeah. So the song came out in July. Um, friend sent it to me. I didn't watch it till like a couple days or so later. Um, I even put it on my blog um, as a like recommendation because I thought it was good. I actually liked it for a while. And then after the month was over, um, I didn't like the song that much anymore. Uh, my Everywhere, uh, every social networking place I'm a part of was just oversaturated with the song and parodies and drawings. It was getting ridiculous and I couldn't take it. <laughs> so I, I didn't like the song that much anymore. It's still a good song. Um, video's still, you know genius but right now and then I just don't like it but now I like loathe it <laughs> like I I try to run away from it so so much if people post it on my Facebook wall I don't watch it or if people send me stuff pertaining it I I don't look at it most times unless they ask me what I think about it. If I see it on YouTube like parodies and stuff or on TV and commercials I try my hardest to avoid it. Um, there have been a few occasions exceptions that I have watched it or things pertaining to Psy because as you know I'm not a Psy fan at all. Um, I watched recently uh, Danny from LA on Mnet because I was on there. I missed the beginning of it but I watched some of that. Mostly the actual interview parts when they were picking parody videos. I changed the channel. Um, also, I, what else, oh, I watched the, uh, I guess it was Teens React or something, um, and the Elders React, those things, uh, and their reaction to the song, uh, the Elders had some really interesting insight on, um, the whole phenomenon, um, that they remember other international uh, artists being part of America's, uh, I guess, not quite mainstream, but you know, it was a focus at some point in time in their lifetime that that was like a song that they know, which was pretty cool. Um, and I saw. Uh, I already mentioned I, wa I watched the Ellen thing and I thought that was embarrassing. Um, I think I haven't really watched many interviews that he's done, but it's kind of following along the same trend of 
just do the dance. Um, we don't really delve into him as a person, as an artist. Um, I even watched, because uh, it was on my Tumblr, and I was curious, I guess, um, he, when he was guesting on Saturday Night Live, and that was stupid. I don't even like Saturday Night Live at all. Um, I don't think it's funny. I mean, it used to be funny way, way, way back in the day when I was like a kid. But even then, um, as I grew up a little, little by little, I wasn't much of a Saturday Night Live fan. I religiously watched every Saturday Mad TV because I thought it was more entertaining and more comical than Saturday Night Live. But anyway, his little contribute to the show was dumb. It wasn't funny, it was obnoxious. Um, the only interview, and I'll put an annotation for it, that I actually liked, and I've also put it on Tumblr, was his interview with Ryan Seacrest. He actually asked him questions that were interesting and made me learn more about him as an artist, because since I'm not a fan, I don't really know much about him and not many people know much about him because you know he's from Korea um, but then I won and then I just kind of thought about all these like horrible interviews and how comparing it to other Asian musicians when they come over and they get an opportunity to be interviewed by um, American media how they get really they get kind of dumbed down questions a lot of the time uh, some of it seems a little bit silly and it's kind of annoying like it seems like they don't treat them like people I don't know or that since they dumb it down because they don't know English very well or something like during gray it's you know, despairs ray it seems odd and I've actually had opportunities to do interviews with bands and see how the press handles these sort of bands and artists and they don't really dumb down their questions they treat them like every other musician doesn't matter what country and I don't know why we do that why America does that they don't do that to you know Hispanic or European artists um, and it doesn't make sense but uh, that bothers me and also that everyone especially I think I've heard that Asians keep getting bought about to do the dance do the dance uh, which is disrespectful and really dumb. I didn't I did not see people harassing Hispanic people to do the Macarena every five minutes. It's kind of I don't, I don't get it and that kind of ties with what happened with Tiger JK and his outburst um, I was gonna add this into what I, my main topic was because I'm, I'm just kind of rambling now um, he did a show and apparently these drunk guys were, you know, bothered, just interrupting the show, not letting him finish his set, telling him to do the horse dance or the horse dance, and he went off on them. And um, if you haven't heard about that, I don't know where you've been, um, especially if you keep up with this K-pop nonsense. But uh, some people thought he was wrong and that he was racist and whatnot. And I think, and then he, afterwards he like apologized. But anyway, I think he, I can understand where he's wrong and where and he was right. Um, we have a terrible problem with stereotypes.
Um, especially because there is very little Asian representation here in America. So we only know what we see and unfortunately Psy fits in that stupid little box of a stereotype that we have and I don't know if he gets that or not. I, I'm sure he's ravishing in the, the, the recognition and stuff but uh at some point but I'm sh but I believe he's a smart guy and he I, I hope he realizes that. But um anyway um yeah so I think what ha what Tiger JK had to say during that show I I think he said everything that needed to be said but I think the way he handled it might have not been very professional so I think that's the only thing he should have apologized not what his words but like how he said them I guess so those guys were in the wrong and I can understand how people can be hurt by his generalization of white people um that kind of I don't know bothered me a little bit but I mean I understood what he meant so yeah I don't think he's racist because he he's very passionate about trying to to bring diversity and make especially Korea understand that they are different types of people out in the world and you need to be sensitive to that especially if you want K-pop to be more internationally known and you're doing dumb racially sensitive things and not really caring and also having there's still you know stigma against darker skinned people and such um what i really wanted to say was some positives and negatives about the whole side thing one was partially kind of the tiger jk which is for us to recognize that his fame doesn't really i don't know it, it's not the song that's famous it's actually just the dance people recognize the dance if there was no video nobody would care nobody would give it a chance but since it was goofy and fun then people like it even though they don't understand it um not just the words but the content because it actually kind of I don't know, showed a little bit of Korea, and I'm sure not many people know much about Korea. They might know about China and Japan, but Korea really isn't represented very much in our media here in America. So I'm sure they don't recognize that. They just see this silly Asian kind of chubby guy dancing around like a fool, not caring, and that's it. You know, dancing monkey type thing so I mean I think that is a positive you know show some light but um, it also shows like what kind of criteria for k-pop to to use when they are promoting here because I think their faults with how why things are failing is because they try to fit in too much into what we have already and we don't need more of what we have we need something different so i mean i know i've mentioned in like um recommendations of people i think would be successful here from you know overseas and saying that oh well they're similar but um, but they also bring something different as well. So it's nice to have something similar. It makes it, you know, like familiar, but it also brings something new. And sadly, K a lot of K-pop does not have anything new. It doesn't have any 
culture to it, even though, you know, Korea keeps saying, you know, K-pop is a representation of our culture, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of it is not. Um, I mean, tell me any, give me a girl's generation or a super junior or a shiny or um, a 21, a big bang. Um, let me think of uh, you know, just just anyone who is supposedly you know really out there, and tell me what you learn from those videos about the culture. Or, I mean, other than their standards of beauty, but I mean, other than that, you don't really get anything out of it. There's I I don't understand how it represents the culture. Now, Gangnam Style actually incorporates the culture in some way, so it, and it's something kind of different. It adds something to it. So, I guess the reason, like, one reason I like Korean rap so much is because it's something familiar from my past, and, but it brings something new that I never would have thought of, you know, mixing together with rap and hip-hop like outsider bring something i enjoy which is lyricism but he incorporates orchestral symphonic sounds to his music so does mc sniper and that's something that's just amazing to me and that would be great for america to have is they would be familiar with oh he brings you know deep lyrics that have to deal with the culture and the problems but has a new sound to it um even let's see I'm, i'll probably say this song wrong uh the song the songs they sound like old rap from the 90s but they bring something new to that sound and unfortunately k-pop a lot of it does not do that they try too hard to fit in into our mold when they try to come over like seven and his song with little kim uh, i think it was girls i actually like that song as silly as it was and little kim's verse was not that great if i really pay attention to it but you know i was it was okay but it didn't bring anything new it wasn't I mean, it didn't stand out and you need something that stands out and that's why uh lady gaga is was became popular because we didn't have anything like that at that time i mean i know she whether she knows it or not she takes things madonna madonna was something different she stood out, she took what was there and brought it to the next level. And that's what K-pop needs to do. You need to take, you know, everything that's familiar and bring something new to it. That, that makes them stand out and, you know, it represents some of them. Uh, J-Rock is like that. They have something different, they bring something new to it. Uh, most notably Kagura, they have been mixed traditional with rock, which is something cultural, familiar, but different. It stands out. So, yeah, hopefully in the future, uh, when K-pop artists try to market themselves here, that they'll use this as a Gundam style as like a guideline to be successful, to be different and familiar at the same time. Also, there's a lot of things that they need to really work on, uh, marketing strategies, because they're, they're not very good at that. They want to do it the Korean way, and the Korean way doesn't work the same here. They have to do it the American way. That's how things work, and I've learned this in a class. I've learned this from someone who works with bands, so yeah, they do that. But that's besides the point. 
Um, also, I guess this might give recognition for people to check out Korean music, maybe. But I'm, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be that many people that are going to go out and, you know, look up stuff. Um, it just seems like the younger generation just kind of feeds on whatever's placed in front of them. But if they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. But a lot of the time, they're not going to go back, go into, like, looking at more stuff unless it's really, really stands out. So, like, um, I don't know. can't think of anything. Maybe kind of sort of during Grey, I guess, because I know I've met fans that didn't know about them and the first time they saw them was in a concert because they opened up for a band or something and they actually went into looking into it more but I think rock fans have a different sensibility about researching music than I guess rap fans but this has been said in a video before that rap fans don't really go back and look in history and stuff but you know Rock fans aren't perfect either because there's some that don't look into history either. I can, I mean, I can see that for J Rock for sure because I've met fans who just don't care and are oblivious, but then they claim that you know they know everything, but they don't. But anyway, I guess um so that that's some positive and he gets some exposure I guess but I don't know how long this exposure is gonna last um, I still think he's gonna be a bit of a one-hit wonder um, and I don't want that for him but it, I just I believe that's what's gonna happen I don't know um for the negatives I guess also goes with Tiger JK's rant about it just proves that you know there's just not Asian proper Asian uh, representation here and he's just gonna get lumped in with probably William Hung and which is sad because you know Sai actually has some talent even though he's not he's not my cup of tea but he has you know he has a rap sheet of you know, a nice library of songs he's done over the years he he has something and uh, his charisma is something people would kill for with their live performances. I mean, I can see that, that he has a lot of energy, and I can see that his concerts are going to be a blast. But, um, and that's coming from a non-fan. Um, I can see that, and, and I'm a person who's kind of, I, I'm not pretty, I'm not very fond of K-pop lives. And I'm not going to go into detail about that because I've already talked about it. Uh, go read the blog, my reasons for not liking K-pop lives. Um, another is I don't think uh, a lot of people think this is a big success for him, that he's going to be so big, but it's not because the people that like it just like the goofy dance and they're going to be disappointed that his other songs are not exactly like that or something. Um, I don't know, they might, but, but now they're, some of them I guess are claiming that they're K-pop fans and all they know is that. Um, which happens, all these things that are happening, I'm like, I've seen this before with J-Rock, so it's just repeating itself. But, uh, I mean, he might prove me wrong and it's this album or whatever he's releasing might do okay. Uh, I don't know, but I don't think it's gonna make a big dent in the charts or anything. Um, but I don't think this is a step, uh, it's not that big of a victory for K-pop or anything because Psy is not K-pop. Psy is hip-hop or rap, whatever. He, he's not K-pop. I mean, his success, you know, give some you know, hints advice for K-pop to, you know, get its foot in the door. But I don't think this is a victory for K-pop, really. Once you start 
selling albums and charting somewhere and actually getting some recognition and people don't ask you dumbass questions on interviews and actually care about you as an artist, then you did something. Um, I don't know. It's also, it's just getting overplayed. People are going to get tired of it. It seems lately that people are making fun of it now from what I've heard, since I'm avoiding it altogether. So people are not taking it seriously anymore. It's a big joke. So that's that's not a good thing. So I don't know. I don't want to take away size victory or whatever. Um, I'm sure he didn't expect this to happen. I know YG didn't expect this to happen. I'm I'm happy for him. I'm not gonna rain on his parade. I mean it's a good it's good that he got some time here and stuff. And it's on the radio and all other good stuff. Um, insert. I've never heard it on the radio because I don't listen to the radio. Um, but I just hope people recognize that the people that are negative about it should recognize that there are some positives to this phenomenon, hype, whatever. But people that are just delusional to the, the, the positive feedback should recognize that there are some negatives to this whole thing and I, I still want to say congrats dude you, you did something you made a small dent in the history I don't know how long it's gonna last but I wish you lots of luck and I hope all of you guys, thank you for bearing with me because this ended up being pretty long. But thank you for bearing with me and listening to my thoughts on the whole Gundam style situation, hype, phenomenon, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I hope you understand my point, point of view on it. Uh, so uh, I guess if you have a feedback, I'll welcome it, I guess. I like comments. Um, just leave them below, and hopefully, I never have to talk about fucking Gundam style ever again until my end of the year post of the world, isn't it? Um, I hope everyone has a nice day, and I'm gonna try to do something productive. Peace, guys.